All right, FL Studio, the biggest update ever, the best update ever. FL Studio 20.1, they finally fixed something or added a feature to make this usable for recording, uh, recording audio. So first off, how did this used to work for those who are unaware? Well, right now I have a guitar amp set up here in FL Studio. I also have my input set up for the Complete Audio 6, which is my interface. So this is how it used to work, okay? I went to record. Now I wanna record on this track here. Let's go ahead and just uh, record. Now we could record into Edison, but I wanna record into the playlist, okay? It's gonna start recording. Okay, good enough. Go ahead and stop that. Take that off of record. Take that off of record. We can close this down uh, for now. So if we now listen to this, sounds bad. So let's disengage the effects for that chain there just by clicking this button and listen. Hmm, well that's not our dry guitar, is it? Because this, this is the way FL Studio, you know, previously worked. It actually recorded from your input through the chain and then into, you know, into your playlist track there and into, into your mixer. It works okay if you want to, if you're ready to commit to your sound right then and there. But as you can see, what if I switch over here? So now we're on a clean channel, and you'll see I play. I'm not making any difference there, even if I turn the effects on there. Now it just sounds awful because it's running this dirty track or this affected track through my amp again. Not what we want, not what we're used to in Pro Tools, for example, right? In Pro Tools, you record the input and then the effects come afterwards. So this is the way it used to work. Now, of course, there were ways to record just your input and then run that through your effects previously. But in that case, we would usually use, or at least I would usually use uh, Edison. So if I go to a different track here, we just disengage that one. I might want to set up Edison in here. So I'd select, say, my input. I could then put Edison in there or I could just record enable, go to record and say audio into Edison there. And then you could start recording that way. And as you can see that there is indeed just the uh, clean sound. Then I could pull that in to, uh, you know, my uh, playlist track there if I wanted to, but that's, you know, I don't want to do that. So what's the update here in, get rid of that, in uh, 20.1. Head back to this track here, disengage this. Okay. Well now in FL Studio 20.1 and higher, you might notice this button here, which did not exist before. Now we can choose post, which is what it was, you know, by default previously, but now we have an option to change that to pre. And if you want to record your input into your playlist there before running through your effects, just set this on pre. So again, correct input, it's on pre there. You can record enable, you can see it's on pre or post. I want it on pre, make sure that track's on. So now it's coming through our effects there. But our input is on pre, so now I can go ahead and record. Pull this back here. Let's go ahead and record again. Make sure that's record enabled, it is. And we'll just say audio into the playlist. That's good enough. Stop that. Take it off and record. And now, guess what? I can play back here. If I turn off the effects, then it's just the uh, dry guitar. So this is this is the biggest workflow enhancement here in FL Studio uh, that there has ever been, in my opinion, for people who like to work this way. Edison is a fine utility to use for a lot of recording tasks, but not for the way I like to work when I'm recording things like guitar uh, and other, other live sources. I prefer to record directly into the playlist, and it's much quicker, much easier this way, so I can record my dry input. So again, this is the dry guitar. Effects are off here. Turn the effects on. So that way, if I make any changes here, so put it on a clean sound. So now it's working more like you know, Pro Tools or more like pretty much any other DAW out there where you're actually recording the dry right into your playlist and then running it through your effects. So this is the absolute best 
feature ever added to FL Studio. This is FL Studio 20.1. Make use of this button here. So that's the new pre and post button here in FL Studio. And of course, FL Studio has the greatest feature of any DAW out there. And that is once you buy it, you get free updates for life. 